Hello guys and girls, and welcome to part 9 of my Stardew Valley One Year Community Centre Challenge. We're on to a cracking start. It is Friday the 26th of spring, 4 days left until summer arrives guys, so we need all the luck we can for spring, we need to make sure we've not missed anything because I do not want to enter summer and then realise we've forgot something in spring because that means the challenge is over. So we've got a little extra look today from the fortune teller which is nice. It's a nice sunny day too. So let's get onto the farm and let's uh, crack on with this challenge. Oh, Demetrius wants to come and say something. Right guys, now this is a big question. I have thought about this long and hard. That's what she said. <laughs> And I am going to go with the fruit bats. Now the reason being, I'll explain just in case people are like, Oh, you made this stupid decision. We've actually done really well with the mushrooms, okay? We've, we've got the red mushroom, we've got the common mushroom, we've got the morel mushroom. The only one we need is the purple one, which we can find in the mines. I've seen them before and I'm sure we can get them on the forest farm or in the secret woods too. So we can get that. Whereas the fruit, on the other hand, it's going to be a struggle. Like, we've got to plant trees. I've already missed out on the spring fruit which is, I think it's the cherries and apricots, is it? But we've missed out on the spring and the summer fruit. So we can only get the fall fruit anyway if we wanted fruit trees. So we are going to go for the bats and hopefully they can give us some fruit that we need, such as oranges and stuff like that, what we've missed in the summer. I think that's going to be the best option. This might bite me in the arse later on, but I'm confident with this one, guys. And that is what I'm going to go for, fruit bats. The first time I've ever had fruit bats on this game, by the way, I always go for mushrooms. But for this challenge, I'm going to make it a little bit different. Why not? Thanks for letting me do this. Okay, guys, so there we go. We have now got the fruit bat. We've just got to hope and pray and wait and see if we can get some of those amazing pieces of fruit that we're going to need for the community center. So there's four days left. Hopefully, we can get these. Are these cauliflowers down here? I don't know if they're going to be in time. I was a little bit worried about those, wasn't I? So um, we've got one silver potato, which we can actually sell. I'm going to water these plants that we've got. Hopefully, we can get one more harvest out of the uh, green beans as well. And you know what? I don't even know what I'm going to do today, guys. I might just try and make as much money as possible, go through all of the things that we need. Hopefully, we've not forgot anything. As soon as I've sorted the chickens out, I'm going to take a trip up to the community center and show you the progress, guys, and trade in some of those items that we got in the last episode. Okay, so obviously, the chickens are still little babies. We've got some hay for them because we've been collecting them from the grass. When these start growing up, we should start collecting some of the animal products that we need as well. I'm actually going to chop a few trees down on the farm too. We are running low on wood. We can start hitting these big stumps as well on the farm. Someone told me in the last episode we can start collecting the hardwood. I totally forgot about it. We've got the copper axe now, so we can start collecting those. We need to upgrade the axe one more time before we can get into the secret woods. So we are going to go and do a little bit of mining today. Hopefully collect quite a lot of iron ore. And there's some more hardwood down here too. Plenty of hardwood. Wow. I guess that's why the forest farm is incredible. Okay, so we are running very low on stamina right now. I've just cleared some trees out. We needed as much wood as possible. So it's helped us out massively. I'm actually going to craft some field snacks as well to get that energy. We've got salmon berries, but we're running quite low on those. So, Okay, guys, before we do a little bit of mining and go to the community center, I'm actually going to go and process all of these geodes that we have got and also the ancient seed. Okay, so we are at Clint's. Let's process these geodes that we have got. We've got quite a lot. Now, these are going to give us stuff like iron ore, which we have just got. It's going to be very helpful. So, um, let's see if we can get some good things from this. We may as well donate the minerals and stuff like that and artifacts to Gunther as well. Hopefully, we can get uh, a few cheeky re rewards. Five pieces of coal. We've got three iron ore. It's very nice. Oh, ten pieces of iron ore. Now, that is amazing. And five more pieces, guys. We're getting so much iron. This is amazing. Once we've smelted some of those into the iron bars, we can actually start upgrading our axe. Very nice. Okay, so that is done. I forgot to bring the items for the community centre, so we'll do that tomorrow morning, guys. Now, let's go and donate some of the stuff to the museum. Okay, so we've got quite a lot for you here, buddy. I just want the rewards. That's all I want, my friend. And there we have it. I think that's everything, right? So we can sell the rest of the stuff. And we've actually got some rewards, too. I think that was like two rewards there. Oh, my God. So, guys, we've got the ancient seeds, and we've also got the recipe, too. And we've got a standing geode, which is... Not very great, but we've got nine melon seeds for summer, so that's pretty impressive. I'm going to get some energy, start eating some of these field snacks and salmon berries. And then obviously go and do a little bit of mining today. We've got the good luck. Let's see if we can get some more iron ore, and then I'll smelt it all once we get home. Or actually, it's probably better to go home first. Drop some of these stuff off so we can have some room. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Before I go home, actually, I'm going to pop to the beach. 
may as well see if we can find some items to sell. I've not even planned this episode today, I'm just going with my heart. I'm just doing whatever I want. We've got some sea urchin coral. Oh guys, look at the coral on this beach today. That's going to get me some nice money. Okay, so back at the farm. It's actually 4.40pm, so I don't think I'm going to go mining. Before we get in there, we'll probably have to come straight back home, so I'll do that tomorrow in the morning. Let's sell all the items that we've got today. Okay, so we've actually got 56 pieces of iron ore. I'm actually going to start smelting some of this and start collecting some bars. I'm going to see what we need to craft another one of these furnaces. So we need 25 stone and 20 copper ore. Okay, that's a lot of copper. We don't quite have it, which is a shame. I was hoping we could have crafted another one, but that's fine. Okay guys, what I'm actually going to do for the rest of this night instead of doing mining, I'm going to do a little bit of fishing and I'm going to try somewhere different today. We're going to go right down to the south of the map. I don't think we've ever fished down this part of the map on this uh, playthrough, on this challenge series. So this is going to be exciting. Okay, first fish of the night. And it's a little chub, brilliant. Guys, hold on a second. You're probably shouting at the screen right now. It's Friday, and I totally forgot about the travel lady. It is 12.10 a.m. I've just finished fishing, done a little bit of forage on the loop around, and I've just noticed the travel cart. So we are going to do a late time travel cart shot. Please let the red cabbage be here. I can't believe I forgot it was Friday today. I, oh, my mind's not with it today, guys. But we are here. We can actually purchase something. Let's not forget Sunday as well. So let's have a look. Oh, no. Guys, no. She's not there. I can't believe it. We've actually missed the travel lady today. That could have been a day where we needed to go, guys. My mind's just been focused on other things. We'll have to go on Sunday. You suck! I really hope and pray there was not a red cabbage on that day. I would go absolutely berserk. <sighs> Dear me, oh well, let's head home, it's 1am, let's sell all the fish that we've got, make a little bit of money. We've got quite a few goldfish, some uh, bream and chub, that's basically all we've got, bream and chub. We've got some spring onions too that we found, which is nice, I'm actually going to just sell the gold ones and use the normal ones to eat, and the silver just sell. I've got, I've got a lot of field snacks. Where's my salmon berries? I don't know where they've gone. Okay, so the end of 26th of spring, and we have just made 2,271 gold, that's, that's very nice pretty productive day. I still can't believe we missed the travel lady. I seen the car and I thought she was still there but then obviously she's gone home because no one's going to stay there till 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay so it's 27th. It's Saturday. Just remember that tomorrow is the 28th the last day and we are going to go into the travel lady. I will not forget. So let's see what look we've got today. I'm going to do some mining. Yes we've got great fortune today. That is what I want to hear and it's a sunny day tomorrow to end spring as well. So guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to water these plants, do the chickens, and I'll see you at the community centre before we go mining. And let's start trading in some of these items. Oh, and quickly, we have just got a maple syrup, which we do actually need for the community centre. Very nice. Oh, I'm starting to get some fruit too. Salmon berry and a wild plum. I don't know if we need those. So, we don't need any plum for this challenge, so we can probably just sell that. Oh, I lied. We actually need the wild plum for the full foraging bundle. So we can hold on to that as well when we go and take a trip up there today. Okay, so the chickens are fed and loved. We've got our pickaxe and our sword. I'm going to take all of the community center items that we have got from the gold chest there. Another iron bar is just done as well. I'll put another one in there to smell, actually. So we're going to take all these items today because we're going to need all of these for the community center. So... Okay, so we are at the community centre. Let's trade in the speciality fish that we've got, which was the ghost fish. We have got the maple syrup for the chef's bundle. We've got the aquamarine for the dye bundle. We've got an iron bar and the copper bar, which need one gold bar and the blacksmith's bundle is done. We have got the ten bat wings and the solar essence. So the adventures bundle is complete, guys. And we managed to get a small magnet ring. We're still waiting on the fire quartz. We've actually already got the frozen tier. So I brung that just in case because I can't remember if we had it or not. And we have now unlocked the vault. Which is obviously the money. Which I can probably do towards the end of this challenge. When we've actually started to get a lot of money. I'm not going to waste that right now. Although what does it unlock? It actually unlocks the bus repair. Okay. Okay we'll hold off for now. We'll see. We'll see. 
Okay, so full foraging bundle. We may as well just put the plum in there whilst we've got it, just so we don't have to spend too much time in fall messing around for some things. And also, we managed to find the winter root, so why not chuck that in there? We can find plenty of those. I'll actually bring a pine tar, but we've actually already got one. So, oh, we could have completed that with the maple syrup, but we can get another one of those. It's on its way, so that's going to be complete. We don't even need the purple mushroom, guys, for the exotic foraging bundle. Because I will be having either the pine, the oak resin, or the maple syrup. That's going to go in there. That probably means we don't even need to go to the desert, guys. That's going to save us some money. We only need to go to, the, oh, we need to go to the desert for the fish, right? I think we need to catch a fish down there. Okay, we'll think about that later on. And we've actually already got a frozen geode as well, so we don't even need the frozen geode, the pine tar, or the frozen tea. I brung them. I brung them by mistake, thinking that we've not got them. So there we go, guys. That is the community center's progress so far. We've done pretty well. The rest of the items that we've got on us right now, we can just sell. So we are on floor 50. Very impressive. We've got ghosts on this floor. Oh, where did that go? Got a lot of iron down here, guys. This is going to be amazing. Oh, gold ore. Don't mind if I do. We really need to upgrade the pickaxe too because it's taking far too long. Four hits just to collect some iron ore. That's not good. Gold's probably going to be five hits. Okay, so floor 52. Got a bag of coal and one piece of iron on this floor. That is it. Quite a lot of enemies. Another winter root. And two ladders. Oh, a lot of enemies down here. A lot of dust sprites. Jeez. Hopefully can drop some coal for me. Or an ancient seed, that'd be nice. Wow, there's so many enemies on this floor. Ah, Jesus Christ. Get away, bat. Out of all the enemies, my least favourite of the slimes. They're probably the hardest and most annoying as well. Floor 54, and there's more dust sprites. Jesus. There's a lot of these buddies. There's actually some iron down here too. Very nice. We just found a lead rod. I'm going to try this weapon out. It's actually got some good... Oh, it's really slow. It's got good damage. And good knockback. Good damage, but real slow. Okay, so there's nothing down on this floor, so we're just going to get out of here. We've managed to get to 55. Five more levels. And we've got quite a lot of stuff as well. We've got 22 pieces of iron ore. So that's not too bad. We're going to get home, guys. Sell some crap that we've got. Keep some of the stuff that we need. And I'm going to probably spend some night smelting some iron bars. Because in the next episode, I'm actually going to upgrade the axe to the iron axe. So we can get into the secret woods. It is Sunday tomorrow, 28th. I'm going to actually save that for the next episode. The last day of spring. We can do that in the next episode. And it will also be the start of summer. So we're getting the end of spring and the start of summer in one episode. That's going to be quite exciting. We actually got a ghost fish drop, guys, as well. I didn't even notice. Drop from the ghosts. So um, we're going to actually sell that. That's not too bad. So we sold a few items right there. It's going to give us a little bit of money. Hopefully the cauliflowers are done tomorrow. Oh, and there we go, guys. The pine tar is done. So the artisan bundle is complete. We can take that up the next episode. I'm just going to spend the rest of the night smelting some of these iron bars until I can pass out and sleep. I'll keep this oak resin nice and safe just in case I lose it by mistake. Okay, guys, that is the end of this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you have smash that like button show me the support so i can put out another episode if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe thank you everybody for watching but for now i've been game shark and i will see you on the next video peace